Hi, I'm Marcy Yankalov, and today on My Out of Office, we're going to be talking with Liz Miller, who runs a mural tour in Station One. So, Liz, you're a teaching artist. Yes. And fine artist in Baltimore. And I run this mural art tour. <laughs> How did you come up with this tour? Airbnb was launching this thing called Experiences and they were looking for locals to run tours. And I thought, you know, it's wonderful for people to learn the stories of neighborhoods. There's a lot of love here, there's a lot of art here, and there's people here, and I wanted to kind of share that. I've always loved the concept of learning about places that you wouldn't know unless you lived here, yes. and you got out and walked around. So the mural behind us, this is actually done by Gaia and Ernest Shaw. We can see some really awesome African-American portraiture. This was a writer and an activist that's in their writing. That's Malcolm X. Yes. That I, I, I can figure awesome. out. This is James Baldwin, and that's Nina Simone. Does the building owner give permission for the artwork? Mm. Like, how does the artwork come to be? Most of these murals were put up through two different movements. One movement, um, Open Walls Baltimore, the first one was 2012. And then Open Walls Baltimore, the second one, was 2016. That's not actually a garage door. So it's kind of amazing when you look at this mural that you start realizing that certain parts are not real. And the shadow is like perfect. You don't readily realize that it's not real. If I walk down the street and I turn the corner, I, this would make me happy because it's just so wonderful. Yeah. This piece is kind of talking about the history of Station North. And so there's a history of the arts, but there's also a history of industry, right? Okay. So we see the sewing machines, we see piano keys, we okay. see the bottle caps, we see the paintbrushes. And then at the top, that could be machinery. So there's a mural right here that is done by Jesse and Katie that we can go look at. This mural comes from the side of the building onto yes the ground. I call this breaking the frame. And so a building already has kind of an implied frame that we're seeing. And three of the murals in this alley all do the same thing. This one is probably my favorite on the entire mm. tour. I thought it was hyenas for the longest time. These are actually dingoes. Oh. Um, and dingoes have that specific pack mentality. The tail of this dog on uh, the right breaks the frame and it tells you that that plywood was boarding up the window when this went up. I remind people on my tour, hey, this is a neighborhood with families and real people. And let's be aware of like, this is their space that we're kind of entering into. It's public space, but it's their space. They live here. A lot of these muralists also believe that their work is up to bring art to the city. So how does one find out about the tour? You can find me on Eventbrite. You can also find me on Airbnb Experiences. The tour is usually called Discover the Murals of Station Work. Thank you so much, Liz. It's been so great to get out of my office and spend this time with you. Yeah, absolutely. It's been my pleasure. I am in love with these murals, and so I love showing them to people. And I hope more people will come take a walk with me. I'm Marcy Yankalov. I'm a realtor in the Baltimore metropolitan area. If you're thinking about selling or buying a home, I'd love to hear from you.